Welcome everyone to another episode here, taking a look at some of the blueprints I found on the Steam Workshop page for Planet Zoo. Our first one is the Edmount Valley Zoo. It was made by Anna. We have 25 habitats in this zoo, along with a lot of exhibits, almost 400 animals in it, all your guest and staff facilities, and we even have a train ride. Really, really nice zoo this is. There is just so much to see and do. And your animals, they just all seem so happy here. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us. Really great job. Welcome everyone to Joshua Tree Park. This park was made by Bonnie Green Laurel. We have 21 habitats. Lots of exhibits, and over 400 animals are in here. All your guests and staff facilities, and then we also have a safari ride, a boat ride, and a train ride. If you guys are enjoying this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. It would really would help me out a lot.
what a really wonderful zoo this is. There is so many beautiful, beautiful things to see. Thank you so much for sharing all of your hard work with us. Our next piece was made by Hank. It's called Ancient Babarusa Habitat. This is a park with one habitat, and we've got five Babarusas in it. Really, really nice little habitat you've made here. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community. Our next piece was made by AC. It's called Bahia Tropical Forest Park. This little park has four habitats in it, right around 18 animals, and all of your guests and staff facilities. a really really beautiful zoo this is thank you so much for sharing your really great work with us our next piece was made by crispum it's called pygmy hippo habitat you can bring this into your zoo for right around one hundred and twenty six thousand dollars Thank you so much for sharing it with us on the STEAM community. Our next piece is called the Mix of Old American and Native American Camps. It's made by the Slim GM. Bring this into your zoo for right around $102,000. great piece this is. It would work inside of a habitat or you could actually put it out for your guests to go ahead and roam around. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community. It's really a great piece. Next we have a habitat with waterfall and a rock hollow. This is made by Kobold 81. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $10,000. gorgeous habitat this is. Thank you so much for bringing it to the STEAM community. Next, we have the Tree of Life Animal Kingdom, made by YouTuber Sedan Wolf. 
and bring this into your zoo for right around $36,000. Beautiful, beautiful piece. What a great recreation of the Tree of Life. Thank you so much, Sedan, for bringing this to the STEAM community and sharing it with us. Next, we have Waterfall Small Stream Cascade, made by Danny Boy 7 Bring this into your zoo for right around $4,000. is a really, really beautiful little piece of scenery here. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us. Sasuka has been busy making us a waterfall scenery. We bring this into your zoo for right around $24,000. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece of scenery here. Thank you so much for your hard work and then for sharing it with us on the STEAM community. Lumposaurus has been busy making some more park rides. This one is Roller Coaster Roaring Lion by Humposaurus. You can bring this into your suit for right around $31,000. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community. You're doing a great job on all of these little park rides. Next, we have a peafowl habitat made here by Lara Bell. Bring this into your zoo for right around $22,000. Wonderful little habitat you've made here. Thank you so much for bringing it to the STEAM community. Atlantic has been busy making Harmony Pond. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $37,000. I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. And there's actually a place, I believe it's in Germany, that actually has a bridge that looks just like this. Thank you so much for sharing all of your work with us. Galleria has made us a shell here. It's called Arctic Coliseum Habitat and Building, large for franchise. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $41,000. Wow, this would be great as a habitat in here. And there's so many places to put some great viewing locations and also a lots of gifts and guest facilities in here. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community. We have a Barbarossa habitat made here by Douche30. You can bring this into your zoo for right around This is a perfect little habitat, just the right size. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us. Next, we have a piece made here by Graceless Gray. It's called Incarcerated Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And this park has one habitat in it and some black bears in it.
I love how you've told the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. What a great job you've done on this habitat. Thank you so much for all your clever work. Our next park is called Floreal Lion Center. It was made by Shin Mark. This park has one habitat in it with West African lions in it. They also have a little bit of guest and staff facilities. little lion habitat this is and a small little park for people to come see at your lion seem really really happy here thank you so much for sharing this with the whole community our next piece was made by Mathlete. it's called st louis zoo entrance recreation this park has one habitat and we're looking at around seven animals in it. It also has a little bit of guest and staff facilities. I have never been to the St. Louis Zoo, but if it's anything, it looks anything like this, it is absolutely a beautiful zoo. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Next, we have the Cold Wolf Rescue Center. It's made by Renat. In this park, we have one habitat and right around six animals in it. Your wolves sure seem happy here. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community. You've done a great job here on this habitat. Our last park is called LucasArt Zoo. It was made by Jean. In this park, we have 36 habitats, a few exhibits, right around 235 animals and some guest and staff facilities.
What a really beautiful zoo this is, Jean. Thank you so much for sharing all of your hard work with us. Thank you everyone for joining me this week and taking a look at some of the blueprints that I found on the Steam Workshop page for Planet Zoo. You guys, I'll take it easy and I'll see you back next week.